In this video, we're gonna cover the query function in Google Sheets. We'll show you what it's useful for and it will show you what it enables you to do within Google Sheets. So let's head over to Google Sheets now to get started. The data set we're gonna go through in this video is a car sales data set. And we're gonna go through the query statement, select where, group by, pivot, order by, limit and label. So by the end, you'll have a good idea of this query statement. We start a query with query, and then there's a couple of options inside that. We've got data, query, and headers. We're gonna start out with the data, and the data is simply just the data you want to query. So A to E in here is the data we want to query, and if we just include that, that'll just give us a copy of the entire data set. Next thing we wanna do do is we want to put our select statement in here and what we can do is we put a comma in there and then we can get going with our select statement in quotes so select b c and e is going to just select those columns from this data set here very similar to sql next thing we can do is an order by so we can select b c and e and we can order by e which is the price column and now we can see our price ascending for all those lines. But we can also do descending by just putting in a DESC and this will order it descending here. Next thing we can do is we can limit this to a number of entries. So if we're looking for the top five most expensive cars, we can just put in a limit after the order by and we can just do limit five and there's your top five expensive cars. But now I wanna filter this by company. So that's where the where clause comes in and the where goes after the select. So in our query, we can just put a where clause in here and we can filter by C, which is the column that contains Audi and we can put Audi in here in quotes and then we get the top five Audis here we can change this to limit 10. Next thing we can do is a group by to get an aggregate. So I wanna aggregate my prices and I want to do that by doing a sum of B and then gonna group by the remaining columns, which is B, C and D. So very, very similar to SQL here. And now I have per dealer, company and model, the amount of Audi sold in price. And we can do count, min, max and average in here as well. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna change that label because that label doesn't look great. For label, just stick in label at the end and then sum E, which is the column name in this case, and I'm gonna change that to total sales. And that will change my label for that for total sales. If you want more than one label, all you do is go back into the query statement and do a comma, and then I want C to be called single quotes, make and that's changed my label for c in addition to group by we can also pivot so after the group by here i want to pivot by the make of the car and then i'll be able to see the total sales per dealer for all makes i'm just going to take off this label here because it's making that label too big and now i can see from the dealer all the makes and the amount of each make that they've sold. The query function is one of the most powerful functions within Sheets, and I put another tab on this sheet with just some functions to get you started if you wanna copy this sheet, which is in the description, and practice with the query statement. I hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.